Hello and welcome back to another SKU Savvy YouTube tutorial. If you're not familiar, SKU Savvy is a full warehouse management system for direct to consumer merchants who are looking to optimize their warehouse and pick pack ship orders faster. In this tutorial, we're going to go through bulk uploading of your purchase orders, which is going to enable you to add a lot of items to one single purchase order at once. So if you haven't already, make sure that you have gone ahead and assigned your vendor product relationships, products and vendors, if they have been imported from Shopify, will come over together. And at this point, then you can go ahead and place a purchase order by either clicking into a warehouse or you can simply go to your orders inbound and create an order and then select the warehouse that you're going to place that purchase order at. I'll link to another video which is going to have an outline of how to do or assemble the purchase order and vendors uh, together. So once you have your vendor selection, we can go ahead and select a delivery date. Optionally, you can also notify the vendor and set up a order note. From here, what we're going to want to do is get our template set up. So I will share the link to this template in the show notes. And from here, really what we're paying attention to is your SKUs of the items that you're going to want to purchase and the purchase quantity. Although you certainly can import your unit cost, a vendor SKU, and uh, the product barcode can be used as well. So really the main two categories are purchase quantity and and SKU of the item. So if you have those, then you can go ahead and download this file as a CSV or an Excel file or even JSON. And then we're going to make it available to import. So from here, we can head back into the purchase order creation. And after we've already selected our vendor, we'll come down to import items and we're going to select this import. We'll go ahead and choose our file that we just downloaded, which is going to enable us then to map the columns. So as you can see, these are the fields or the column names from our import spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead and ignore the vendor field and ignore the product name. I'm going to connect the SKU. We've got our vendor SKU there and we are going to import the quantity. Next, we can tap on next, which is going to give us a visual of the import file. And from here, we could go ahead and actually change the quantities. Uh, we can actually edit any kind of data that you are planning to import. You also can change around and add new columns that uh, or adjust the columns that we should be listening to, which correspond to the purchase order columns. Uh, you also can confirm that, in fact, you've got the right product. Uh, and at this point, you could reassign that product uh, as well as to choose which rows you actually do want to import. So we could choose to leave off a row at this stage. So from here, we'll go ahead and import all of our items on this spreadsheet. And that's going to go ahead and, as you can see here, add these items that we want on our purchase order to the purchase order itself. So each of those items in the file was added to our purchase order here, at which point we can see the price and subtotals. And then we can go ahead and view all of the information for the purchase order and then go ahead and create the order. Now, another just quick tidbit. This little blue dot indicates that this item here has been added to the purchase order there. So that's about it. Just a quick video to go through the purchase order import process. Hopefully that will help you to make large purchase orders easy and get inventory into your system. As always, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll get all of the latest videos that we do, and hopefully that will make it easier to get up and running faster and be able to take advantage of the system fully. And you can also get your free account at skewsavvy.com forward slash register and get up and running today. Thank you very much. We'll see you on the next one.